Okay, you're gonna you're gonna turn your jigger around to the smaller end. All right. Is there anyone that needs help at this point? Okay, I'm gonna take that as a no. So I was saying you're gonna take the squeezy that's labeled B. You're gonna pour into the smaller end of your jigger until you're comfortable. All right, and then just straight into the glass. So right now in your glass, you should have two liquids. That's the gin. And then uh, I didn't introduce what was in B, but that's your rose soap. Right, that's going to be a vermouth. Okay? Now that we're done with that, we're going to get our hands a little bit dirty. Actually, let me leave that for the end. Uh, we're going to take the small little ramekin that's in front of you. Alright, what you have inside here is going to be your sugar syrup. What we have inside your glass right now, we have your uh, two forms of... Uh, we have a liquor, your gin, and we have a liqueur. That's going to be your vermouth. Now we're going to add a bit of a sweetener. The ramekin in front of you is your sugar syrup. Okay, I want you to, again, we're going to be using the smaller end, uh, 15 mils worth, and then we're going to pour straight into the glass. Now your sugar syrup is a bit more viscous, so just be careful uh, not to get it on your clothes. Okay. Viscous meaning that it's just a bit more thicker, so the consistency is going to be different. Okay. So right now in your glass, there should be three liquids. Your A, your B, your Rosso, and then in the ramekin, your sugar syrup. Okay, next time I'm going to be moving on to the Prosecco. Now your Prosecco is going to be squeezy bottle number C. Okay, uh, correction, I mean, uh, label C. And then we're going to be pouring in uh, quite a bit of juice. Uh, your 30 mils outside of the jigger uh, times 2. Alright, that's a total of 60 mils. So squeezy bottle C, 2 times of 30 mils, so 60 mils worth. Alright? Okay. All right. You got two? Oh, okay, can. So for the gentleman with the two liquids, uh, the third ingredient is going to be the ramekin. You don't have the ramekin? Or uh, a uh, form of sugar syrup? Oh, that's fine. Okay. You see, okay. Okay, so right now I have uh, four liquids. This is going to be A, B, C, and then Is there anyone that is not at this at the same stage as I? For C, it's going to be 60 mils worth. So the second line, you trigger, do that twice. Two twice, man. This one twice, man. Twice is the C. Oh, C. This one is? C is the big one twice. Oh, okay. This is so nice. This one, yes, you're right. This side. Oh, okay, so good. Just show it down. There you go. Okay. See that? Very nice. Two time big one. Okay. Okay, awesome. You guys all good here? Yeah. Awesome, so awesome. Okay, great. What is he? Yeah, for Seco. How come no bubble one? He's doing good, good. Thanks, sir. How come no bubble for Seco? Yeah, I think Okay, Ken, I think everyone's at the same stage as I am. For the next part, they're going to be left with two more ingredients. We're going to be putting in your club soda, and then we're going to be putting in your citrus. Alright, you have your liquor in, the liquor, or liqueur. We have your sweetener. And then now we're just going to put in your effervescence and then your uh, citric component. So, for the soda, that is in your can. Please open up the can. And then we're going to be pouring in one ounce, uh, which is going to be the 30 mils worth. Alright, 30 mils worth. Alright, just in. Straight into your jigger, straight into your glass. What's the difference between club soda and sparkling water? No difference actually. It's just the minerals. It's just the different amounts of minerals. 
So for example, like there's this essential green right? There's yeah. another brand called Cherry. Yeah. Uh, you'll find certain bars used. Yeah. And uh, sometimes it's just like for this is it's just a marketing right. Right. because uh Perry actually sponsors certain competitions. Okay. Right. Yeah. So uh yeah. yes, they're more or less the same thing. Yeah. What we want is actually the effervescence, which is the it's actually the bubbles. Okay. Right. So that's that. Okay, but more or less zero calories, no? Yeah. That is zero calories. Yeah. Okay again, the last one is just gonna be your citrus and you're gonna get a bit messy with this. Alright, you'll find a piece of lemon in front of you. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I just want you to get just grab the lemon and just squeeze it into the glass. There is a uh, normal complex way to say that. Alright? Just squeeze it in. That's it. How much? A few drops. Lemon, lemon. A few drops. Squeeze a few drops. Right. Uh, obviously, this, they are just squeezing the lemon in because we are just making one portion, one drink for you to enjoy. Later on, uh, the section of the explaining about how to make bigger batches for an actual uh, hosting. And then, uh, then, then I will explain how you can get, uh, how you can uh, skip cramping your hand by doing this. Alright, uh, next up, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be taking a bar spoon. Alright, is there anyone that needs help with the lemon? The lemon, all good, all good. There be napkins going around. Yeah. Okay. Come on, I need to get ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the expense of uh, those uh, raw materials, and uh, materials, uh, and mass rate. Uh, so you find a way that uh, you find that they will spray a certain way. But for this rate, it's just a spray. Just get your spoon in there and just mix it all up. All you want to do is just incorporate all the flavors in there. And after that, just take your bar spoon, just rest it on top of the plate where you have your flavors. So just keep it nice and clean. And then after that, for the, we're gonna garnish your drink, right? Uh, we're gonna be gonna take. I'll keep it a bit more simple. For the apple sprigs, in question for the Bombay Sapphire sprigs, uh, we when we choose a garnish, yes, color plays an important part. Uh, but the main uh, the main point of a garnish is actually the aroma and also the appearance. If you want to find a garnish, you can check both our boxes. So on the plate right in front of you, there are two you can use. You can uh, you're free to choose either one. You can go with the herb, right? I don't know what that is. Thai? Yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so uh, you can use that to put inside your sprays so that when you go in for a sip, the rose, the time is going to hit your nose, right? Another fun aspect of uh, why the uh, aroma is important when you're drinking cocktails or any kind of beverage. Uh, I don't know if you know when you were younger, when you were told to drink chicken essence, your mom or dad would ask you to uh, have your nose before you drink the chicken essence. Mm -hmm. The reason is because uh, the smell actually uh, impacts what you get to taste. Right, the same thing for all of if you uh, after you don't try to fix it, you uh, won't get a lot of flavor. So that's why some bar have to go really crazy uh, with their drinks when it comes to lunch. Like for a king's cup, you'll find a mini strawberries, uh, cucumbers, uh, whole mash for uh, lunch. So with that technique of you can either use the herb or if you want to go with color, I can just use the strawberries. So you can uh, even on something as your hand. So now when bar are uh, choose uh, a lunch, you'll, you'll try to uh, check one of these boxes. Alright, so up to you. Go with the strawberry, go with the pine, drop it in, and please uh, enjoy the drink. Okay. Okay. Going for a sip. Okay. And when, before you're going for a sip, you know, take a second to just take a whiff, just smell it, the flavors, the vermouth, the gin. When you take a sip, try to get it to cover all the palates. Uh, take your pine with it. Remember, we're trying to be mindful about uh, how we consume pockets. Yeah. Right? So uh, we just went through step by step on how to make it. and. Uh, now just smell the creation and then going for a sip and then try to get all the flavors. Yeah. And of course, like, in the meantime, try to take a nice sexy picture of it. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys.